Hi, Alina, Daphne here. Thanks for sending in your essays. Well done. Uh, really good. I'm glad you got these two extra ones and I'm really, really happy to help you. Uh, okay, let's have a look at this. And you said you were feeling nervous. Don't feel nervous. If you feel nervous, you will panic. Don't panic. Um, make sure you get lots of rest. Make sure you feel healthy um, and then you can just really go for it. Let's have a look at this. So we said uh, it was about advertising, didn't we? The issue of introducing some new concepts into different countries based on advertisements made by multinational companies has been growing, watch out, since the advent of globalization. Good, nice one. Uh, the issue of introducing. Now, because you want to get this idea of good or bad in here, uh, the issues surrounding because it's not just one issue. So I just want to slightly change this. The issues I'm going to put here surrounding the introduction of of because then I've got this idea of not just like this whole concept here, invasive and intrusive. So it's lots of issues. The issues surrounding the introduction of some new concepts in two different countries based on advertisements, uh, comma here, based on advertisements made by multinational companies, comma, has. So the issues here we've got plural, now we're okay, have been growing, ing. Oops since the advent of globalization. Okay, um, maybe not since the advent of globalization, but be careful with this advent of globalization. Everyone uses this. Since the advent of internet. I mean, I know it's other things as well, what and globalization, maybe put both in there. Okay, uh, conservatives argue that this industry can sometimes be offensive, put your verb in here, can sometimes be offensive for people with different backgrounds, whereas for open-minded people, international, now put, put literally, don't use their word, change this to advertising, could be an excellent way to educate local people about foreign cultures and habits, good, yeah, fantastic, lovely intro, really, really good there. On the one hand, advertisements, okay, let's be more specific, Okay, such as those by Zara, Apple, or Nike. It's really important, particularly in an essay like this, to give me the names. It gives the essay some grounding. It makes it real. Um, could, remember my favorite words, might, may, could. Don't use can. No, we, I don't like can. This is more academic, and it suggests, it's more suggesting. Could be seen, could be seen, careful. Be seen as a disruptive strategy, usually by big brand names, to expand their sales, not their sellers, which is people, to ban their sales overseas. This is because for traditional populations, some images of what? Yeah, of Western clothes and even idiomatic expressions in posters uh, in American style posters. So let's be specific. May be conflictive. No, uh, conflictive is an, an adjective. Conflicting, you could have ing with their beliefs, yeah, with their religious beliefs. For instance, a few years ago in Mongolia, local authorities prohibited a Christmas advertisement, really, due to one sentence written on the top of it. And now, on an advertisement of the sentence, we call it a strap line. You don't need to know that, but now it's a new word for you. Strap line, which was considered. So you want a past passive there. Strap line is the like the line which goes with uh, the advert. Okay. There we go. New vocab. But you don't need it. Don't worry. Uh, so, but you do need this. Was considered uh, on the grammar. You mentioned the grammar. You weren't that confident. Just think about which tense you're in, because this is the past tense. Was considered unacceptable for their moral outlook, or their morals would be okay. 
On the other hand, marketing from other countries might be a great opportunity to learn further about different realities. Yes, different realities, countries, and uh, traditions. So give me more here. Try and give me three things every time, not just one thing. That's better, uh, shows more vocabulary, and is a nice academic style. For instance, since Brazilian novels, uh, novels or films? Novels is a book. I think maybe you mean films or TV series, maybe? Not sure. Have been watched. So, plural, have. Yeah, so plural there. Yeah. Been watched. ED, not ING. Have been watched uh, in a variety of countries. These foreign people could associate Brazil not only with carnival, but also with very nice local food, dance, and even um, even Brazilian adjective thoughts. Uh, sorry, about specific and important subjects such as environmental problems. Absolutely, very, very good here. Yeah. To conclude, from the arguments that Thomas given, I firmly believe that international marketing can bring many more benefits. So it's many when we can count it. One, two, three. So you can count benefits. Many more benefits uh, for locals than drawbacks. This might have been. This might be careful. You're, you're using the passive a lot when I don't think you need to be. I think maybe this is just a grammar mistake you're making, but it looks like a passive. Um, this might be because you're you're talking now. This might be seen, or just literally, this might be as a useful method to learn about other cultures. It's predicted that even though traditional people may refuse to accept it, accept this. Overseas publicity made by large industries is an unchangeable reality. Wow. Hey, super good essay. Um, let's go through this in terms of your task achievement. Absolutely no problem at all. The only thing I would add for the task achievement is I would add some real companies and some just expand this, which is connected to these advertisements. So make your essays real. Um, give examples as much as you possibly can. Not, not necessarily, I don't mean the statistics, but these real examples. So that would help the task achievement and the development. The coherence is nice. Running through it is easy for me to follow. You've signposted it well. That's great. Um, your conclusion is good and strong, and so is your intro. So for me, you've got, you should be totally fine on your 6.5. If you can produce this, this is really good. Yeah, really good. Um, you've only got a short time left. Have a look at some model essays on the website. Just try and get these model essays into your head, and that might help you. But I'm really happy on that one. Really, really nice. The okay, water consumption. Here we go. The bar chart illustrates the consumption of top water. Now, top water means the most water. So you don't want to use this word. Uh, okay, so the, the water consumption, uh, so put here. Okay, and you're trying to paraphrase. Okay, so let's do it this way. The amount of water that was consumed by volume. So if you have the idea of volume, that's how much. Uh, in the year 2013. Okay, so I don't use that because that's never ever use the words in the question. You have to paraphrase the words in the question. Overall, um, I don't want this comment. Okay, no comment. This is factual. It's a report. Imagine you were doing a report for your boss. Okay, it's a report. Overall, um, Mexican. Mexican population had the highest consumption of water. So water just means the top water, which just means the most. Whereas the USA was the people uh, consumed or drank or used the least. Okay. 
Mexico, Thailand, and concentrated the majority of con um, the Mexico. Uh, okay, if you want to use the word concentrated, which is nice, but you could have the highest consumers of water were concentrated in in Mexico, Thailand, and yeah, or if majority is nice, the majority of the, okay, or concentrated in with, yep, can for person respectively good, however, none of the other countries showed in the chart had a consumption of over per capita, good. <coughs> That's very nicely done, <coughs> excuse me, just watch that here. Uh, it's making sure you know in these task ones, what is the subject of your sentence and getting the subject of your sentence at the beginning. In Italy, the population consumed nearly 20% more than the UAE. Conversely, Thai people consume just under 50% more water than Americans. In addition, similar comparisons uh, as can be seen between Mexicans and French. Good. Um, don't need that. Germany, UAE, and France clearly had slightly had similar intakes. Similar intakes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> which account for approximately 37 gallons by one mm, per person, per citizen. We use per P E R. In this year, on the other hand, maybe rather than on the other hand, I have however. Um, on the one hand, on the other hand, is okay for task two. It's not recommended for task one. Consumption was nearly five gallons less than the average of the previous countries named. Okay, good. <clears throat> well done. Again, super good. Um, just a little bit of an issue here on don't use the words in the question. And top water means the most. Not It's not a special kind of water. Okay. Uh, really well done. Very, very good luck in your exam. Please let us know how you get on. That we will be thinking about you.